Hello, this is Evangelist Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Many of you have already seen my videos and uh, yes, yeah, lots of times I, I preach about things that pertain to society and how society is so corrupted especially when it thinks more about money and the love of money and the fact that then when need, somebody needs something needs something not want something but need something and because they are poor in a way where they're uh, not making enough money from their job, or they're sick and lame or crippled in their body and cannot hold a full-time job or even hold a job, period. There are a lot of people out there that think what they're stupid, stinking thinking that because they can't work, they don't need anything only except a roof over their head, clothing, and food. That's all. Anything else is above and beyond the scope of what a uh, needy person needs. You might as well just say a needy person needs to just be put in a shelter somewhere and not to be able to own a home of their own with the support system necessary to keep that home stable, structurally. And on top of that, if they own a vehicle, to keep the vehicle on the road and running in good condition. And to be able to have some, maybe not all the enjoyments that the rich and the rick working rich enjoy. Excuse me, I, be I strongly believe communication in all its forms is a necessity. I mean TV, radio, phone, both home and cell phone, and the internet. All forms of communication is a necessity. Not, not a, uh, a want like some people think. It's a necessity. You need to be able to communicate and you need to be able to... Uh, uh, have uh, things uh, that you need to be ready at the moment's notice for a disaster, whether it's weather or uh, man-made. But because of these people's stinking stupid thinking, because they rather keep the poor and the sick and the lame under their thumb and they want to totally exert their power that they think they have over uh, people They're the ones that's going to find out in the end what God is really all about. And He's not all about getting rich and making lots of money and 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 uh, keeping people that are, are in need under their thumb. That is not my God. That is not the God of the universe, the earth. 
the great I am. Some people say, well, you, you don't understand the, uh, the meaning of the talents. I do understand the meaning of the talents. The problem is, you want to also put the talents as meaning as money. A talent is also something that God gives you that you can go out there and do in the world. There's a lot of people that are given more talents than others. Then there's some given, you know, maybe one talent. And uh, the problem is then they hide that talent. They don't want to use that talent to uh, better themselves or other people. That's the whole concept right there. It isn't all about money and, and, and taking that money and investing it in something uh, and then making more money. Jesus was just using that as an example that we're supposed to take the talents that God gives us in our personal lives to better, not just ourselves, to, to better other people around us and to better the world. The problem is That's what I'm trying to do. That that is what I am doing. That's with the the internet and uh, preaching. Well, enough of uh, preaching. Uh, the true meaning of talent talents. I also want and, and the true meaning that uh, people are supposed to be on, on. The reason why they're we're all on Earth is to help one another. We're. You, in the beginning, it was to tend God's garden. Now, it has went to not just serving God as well. We're supposed to serve others around us. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. There must be a lot of people out there that hate themselves because they hate their neighbors. But again, we're not supposed to give in to their sinful lifestyle and 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 accept it and allow that sinful life child style try to change our faith and our belief in God. Because, see, that's what they're wanting to do. They're wanting to change us. They're wanting to change the Christians. To not only accept their uh, sinful lifestyle, but eventually for us to basically denounce God, denounce Jesus Christ, and turn over to their sinful ways. It, it is an infant... It, it, I was going to say inf infestation. Like a bunch of insects. Roaches. What do roaches do? They make you sick. They make me sick to my stomach. I don't have them here. So get it straight. I do not have roaches. We get sweet ants. We use these little teeny ants. I don't get just get them, but I've seen them at, uh, outside in my uh, storage building. And I've seen them at other people's mobile homes. So there's this whole area here that has these sweet ants. Get them in the summer real bad when the weather starts warming up. But uh, it's also a uh, invitation. Um, 
Mm. Can't get the word out. Sorry, I, I'm just having a little bit of trouble. Where the enemy goes in to the camp and and uh, sneaks in and uh, takes over. That is what these people who basically have come out of the closet now they that now they now they're not only just coming out of the closet about their sinful lifestyles and wanting us to accept them but they 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 want to sneak into the camp and take everything we have that God has given us and even if they have the chance they will still our faith in God in Jesus Christ and that is what they are trying to do they're not just trying to take our our homes and our businesses they're trying to steal our faith in God and Jesus Christ as well and thank you Indiana for standing up for Christian businesses I know there's a lot of people that doesn't like it George Tacky uh, I'm, I'm a Star Trek fan. I watched Star Trek when I was growing up, and I still watch Star Trek. I have Star Trek uh, models that I built, and I have other Star Trek uh, items. But let me tell you something, George Tacky. Yes, I know you're gay, but enough is enough. Back off. If I was a, a, a Starfleet captain or an admiral, I'd give you an order. But then again, you're no longer in Starfleet, are you? But anyhow, long story short, I wanted to talk about also... I went to my bank Monday to talk to uh, the uh, lady at the bank to see if it's possible I could maybe get you know a loan to uh, pay off some other bills and uh, pay down on my van and get it fixed. It's running now. I got it back. It's running. It starts like it's supposed to. But it's running real fast, like a scared rabbit. So I asked, and someone said it could be the uh, intake, the intake, which is on top of the motor, the gaskets, the intake gaskets, probably uh, leaking. And uh, long story short, I have to change those too, because it's running real fast, like a scared rabbit. And I need to change my muffler. The muffler is under warranty with, at Monroe Muffler. But I would have to come up with the money to pay the labor. And then hopefully that takes care of all my issues with that vehicle. For now. Until another new part goes bad again. Seems like every time I turn around, but uh, get a part for it, and it goes bad, and then I have to take it back and exchange it for another one. It's not about quant uh, cl uh, no. quality anymore. It's about quantity. They just put these out so fast they don't even check them anymore. Just make sure that they work right and stay working for a long time I remember part you put part on you never had to replace it again but nowadays you gotta replace it every year if not before but long story short I got my vehicle back I went up there and 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 uh, Monday I was 
before I got back. I went up there to uh, check on uh, uh, see if I can get a loan. And uh, while I was there, she said my credit score had dropped. I, I told her it was 704 and it dropped to 6 something. That doesn't make no sense. Why did it drop? And then she said, well, there was a collection that was just put on your uh, credit report for $17. I'm like, what? A $17? I never got a $17 uh, bill from a collection agency or a doctor or anywhere. So, found some information I have from other credit reports. You know, I can get my free credit report once a year. Went to Equifax, got my credit report. And, hang on a second here. Let me get where you can see it. Right there. Choice Recovery out of uh, Columbus, Ohio. So, if you uh, listen to this uh, video... Uh, yeah, I called you yesterday, and I talked to you about this. I even called uh, uh, Radiology Associates out of Zanesville, Ohio, that originally had uh, this bill. And then they sent it to this... Uh, uh, see how it works, actually. The uh, collection agency buys the bill from the uh, original creditor or the, the original creditor sells the bill to uh, $17 and usually they sell the bill I think for more money because it costs it costs a lot of money to file you know with the collection agency to begin with But long story short, yeah, seventeen dollars, and this was uh, filed onto my credit report back on the twentieth, uh, and of course it was for a bill that uh, uh, for a little over a year ago. When my son, Robert L. McKim Jr., had almost cut his thumb off with a jigsaw and went to the hospital in Kershockton. This is my son's bill. My son's. Not mine. My son's. When I was talking to... Uh, Radiology Associates, uh, the lady there, uh, she asked me what my birth date was. I told her, and, and she says, you know, uh, my son's birth, I told her my son's birth date, and she says, well, we clearly told Choice Recovery his birth date. Does, uh, does collection agencies really ever listen? No, they don't listen. All they want to do is ruin people's lives. That's all they do. I'm sick and tired of uh, having my life constantly ruined, either by my ex-wife or, 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 you know, and what my son is not doing. You know, it, it's their bill. My son's bill. See, all he has to do is go... And get his mother and go pay the seventeen dollar bill. But see, my ex-wife has this uh, um, crazy belief that if you pay a dollar on a bill and they don't accept it, then the bill is counted paid in full. That isn't how it works anymore. I got enough on my credit report. And I've been I've been making a lot of payments lately, 
to uh, my loan, one loan place and trying to rebuild my credit. And I've been uh, keeping my uh, credit card that I received when I was working. Originally, when I was working, I had Capital One. And then it was sold to another company and then another, the current company that I'm with now. When I had a job back in uh, uh, the 90s, So, let's get this straight before you start running your mouths out there. Oh, how is it that someone on SSI can afford a credit card? Well, I can't afford to pay it off. So, I have to make my minimum payment and uh, basically try to pay it down. But, see, I got to make, a, 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 I got to charge something on every every month to keep it active. Otherwise, then they'll close the account, and then uh, then they'll want me to pay it off. That's how it works. That's how they told me. So, you know, if you want to try to say, well, that isn't how our credit card works. Well, maybe not yours, but that's how this one works. But let me <clears throat> get back to real quick here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, Equal Facts says here on how to dispute a uh, file uh, information. Tell me to go to this website. Well, here's what the website's doing. Here's the website. I cannot find the page. So evidently, the page at Equifax, or the website that Equifax wants me to go to to file a, a file dispute information, doesn't exist. I can't call them, so that means I'm going to have to write to them. Unless Choice uh, Recovery gets off their lazy touche and start and realize that they made a big mistake, because let me tell you, there is a law, and it's called uh, the uh, Fair Credit Reporting Act. Well, let me tell you something. They just violated that law. But, you know, they don't care. That's the thing. They don't care. Cre credit agencies do not, you know, care whatsoever if they file on the wrong credit report. Because in, in their mind's eye, and their mindset that uh, well eventually maybe this bill will get paid if we put it here or if we put it there or we don't put it on the right credit person's credit report you know it'll get paid because someone will say well I'm a, I must be a, a bill that I had and I'll just go and pay it it's not a bill that I had and I'm not paying my son's bill because of my ex-wife's belief. And granted, my son doesn't work. Why? Because let me tell you something. He was diagnosed with ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. He was also diagnosed with Oppositional Defiance Disorder. And he was diagnosed with uh, uh, OCD as well. And he has traits of Asperger's. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but he does basically almost the same thing uh, that uh, my uh, ex-wife's sister's first son, who has autism, 
does. There's some things that he does that my son also does. But uh, he was never uh, diagnosed with uh, Asperger's. But because at the time we was trying to figure out if it runs in the family. And I asked a doctor at Rainbow and Children's Hospital up in Cleveland, Ohio, if it runs in the family. He said, no, it doesn't run in families. Later on, a few years later on down the road, when I was driving a school bus, guess what? There was two brothers. One had Asperger's and one had autism. It does run in families. But at the time we was told, no, it doesn't run in families. The doctor was trying to say it was probably uh, the food that Bobby was eating that was causing him to be the way he was. Well, it's not. Clearly not. So I have constantly tried to tell my son, file for Social Security, file for Social Security. But no, he won't. He thinks he if he gets his driver's license... He'll get a job. Well, he won't listen to get his driver's license. When I tried to teach him, he didn't want to use the brake. He kept saying, Anisha will slow me down. Anisha will slow me down. Anisha will speed you up. Almost flipped my van that I had at the time. I'm not teaching him how to drive if he's not going to listen. So this is why he can't pay his bills out of his own pocket. He is just only doing some odd jobs of babysitting for his brother. And, uh... Because he can't go out and get a job because of his mental condition. But you know what? Oh, some people will say, well, you're just like him. No, I'm not like him. Not not by a long shot. I pay the bills. I pay my I pay my bills. I pay my rent. I pay my electric. I pay my water and sewer. I I pay uh, uh my trash. I pay my uh yeah uh, other utilities. I pay my uh, satellite. I pay my internet and I pay uh, my insurances. And then I live on what's left over. Oh yeah, my morg my my loan on the van, and the cash advance loans, and I try and I live what's on left over, which is very little because of all the bills, the cash advances, and the loan on my vehicle. And so I was hoping maybe I could get another personal loan to pay the cash advance loans off. Do some more repair work on the van so uh, runs right and then use the rest of the money to pay that loan down so won't have uh, too much longer to pay on it. We can manage but doing it that way but uh, because this $17 bill that was put on my credit report that's holding up uh, my chances of getting another loan. God bless you. I hope this helped you today. And that uh, you get right with God before it's too late.